Okay, today we're going to learn about two different kinds of problems having to do with circles and segments. One of them, the point where these two secants are intersecting is outside the circle. And the other one is where the two chords are intersecting inside the circle and you're supposed to find this segment length. We're not looking at angles today, we're looking at segment lengths. These set up similarly but different, and but people get them mixed up, which is why I wanna talk about both of them at the same time. Let me show you why the first one works the way it works. Okay, check this out. I've got a point on the outside and I've measured uh, the inside segment, which is this dashed line between E and D. I've measured the whole thing that goes from C to D and I've measured the outside. And I did the same thing with this green. And I can move these around and you can see the numbers are changing. There's no reason to think that everything should be equal to each other because that's not really what's happening here. What is some kind of theorem about how to find a segment length if there's no rhyme or reason to how what these lengths are going to be? If I do something like this, which is like the inside, if you take the inside times the outside, this 9.1 times the 4.6, if you add them together, it's the whole thing, that's 13.7, but if you multiply them, it's 42. Inside times outside is 37.6. So no matter where I put these points, I'm sure it's possible to get these things to match. Like if I put them on top of each other and they're the same line, but in general, they're not gonna match. Inside times outside, inside times outside, which is a super common mistake for a problem like this. I make it myself when you're not thinking, but it doesn't work. What does work is this, outside times whole thing. So if I take the outside number times the whole thing, it, these two match. Does that stay the same as I move it? No matter where I put these points, outside times whole thing stays constant. Outside whole thing when you take the outside times the whole thing of one of those, it's gonna equal outside times whole thing of the other secant. So I call that, I taught my students ow ow. ow, ow. When it's an ow ow, it's got a pointy thing on the outside. All right, let's do a problem. Solve for x, assume that lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. We're gonna do one of those with a tangent line, but not right away. All right, first of all, this is my little helper, ow ow. So I know I need to set up outside times the whole thing. So for this first line, it's gonna be the 10 on the outside times, not the x. That's what your brain is gonna to wanna to do. Be careful, you gotta get the whole thing. The whole thing is this 10 plus the x. The x is on the inside, so that is the whole thing. So the other owl is gonna be the nine times the nine plus 11. You can add that together in your head if you want to, but I'm just gonna write it out to be super clear. So nine times nine plus 11. All right, next line is me doing distributive property in the first half. 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times x is 10x, and then we have nine times 20. I'm not gonna do distributive property on this one here because I can just add nine and 11, that's easier to do. So nine times 20 is 180, so here I am with 100, 100 plus 10x plus 180. So let's solve for x by subtracting 100 from both sides. We get 10x equals 80. Divide both sides by 10. I want you to do that in your head. x equals 8. And we have done it. We've solved. All right, this is where assume that lines that appear tangent are tangent comes into play. Because let's start out with our ow ow. We are, inner, we are outside the circle, so it's ow ow, outside. And the 6 is the outside but it's also the whole thing. That's, a, that's because the six is a tangent to the circle. You, even if you don't understand the vocabulary, if you understand the picture and know what you're looking at, you can set up the math. The outside and the whole thing are the same for that one. The other one, the four and the four plus x will be the whole thing. Set these up, there we go. A lot of people kind of like gap out when they don't see an inside piece. So this is how you handle that kind of a problem. Multiplying, we're gonna get 36 equals 16 plus 4x. I wanna subtract 16 from both sides. 
36 minus 16 is 20. That equals the 4x because the 16 is canceled out. Divide 20 by 4 in your head. x equals 5. Okay, here I've got a demonstration of what happens when you have chords intersecting on the inside. Now, right now I have them as two diameters. And if you multiply them together, of course, you're going to get the same number because we're working with the same numbers. But does this hold no matter where these points are? Will multiplying the parts together actually work? This is different than when the point was on the outside. Check it out. The numbers are all different now. But when I take AE and multiply it times EC, I get 18.6. And when I take B to E, 2.5, and multiply it times E to D, I also get 18.6. Look at that to look at that sum or uh, product, okay? It's not changing. So for when the point is on the inside, take part times part, part times part. This is different than when we had it on the outside. When the point was on the outside, it had to be outside times whole thing in order to make it work. Inside, you get to do exactly what you wanted to do in the first place. So there's a chord and it's split in, into two pieces by the other chord. You don't assume they're split in half. That's not necessarily true. But what you can think of is right and left. So if you take the left side times the right side, the pink times the green, that's going to equal the left right side red times blue. And you can think of it as LR equals LR. Most people get these. This is natural. This is what our brain wants to do. So a lot of people remember this one and they just misapply it to the other problem. but. There's a funner way of doing it, <laughs> and that is just saying part times part and equals part times part. That may not seem like it's very, you know, intellectually a good way to look at it, but wait, it gets worse. In class, I would say it's PP equals PP, and everybody would laugh right now. So anyway, so it was ow ow and PP, and that's how I taught high school geometry. <laughs> Let's do a problem. All right, we're solving for x. You have x is right here, and that's on the same chord as this one, so we're going to end up multiplying those two together, and then we'll multiply the 12 and the 10, so we get xx or 15x equals 12 times 10, and we get 15x equals 120. And when you divide both sides by 15, you're going to get x equals 8. Easy peasy. These PP problems are actually kind of fun if the numbers aren't complicated, which lasts not anymore. Now <laughs> we're going to have some algebra. So we have the 12 times the 21 equals the x plus 6 times the 2x plus 2. So let's set that up. Now, now you're gonna, this is the geometry ends here. If you understand how to set up, then you understand the geometry problem. Now from here, this is a maybe not so fun algebra problem. We're going to multiply these two together. Your favorite way of multiplying them, whether that was with boxes or FOIL method. Back up, back up, back up. I like to do something like, it's not exactly FOIL, but it's kind of this weird little distributive property thing I do. x times 2x is 2x squared, x times 2 is 2x, 6 times 2x is 12x, and 6 times 2 is 12, and then 12 times 21 is 252. I'm going to simplify and can combine the 2x and the 12x. And I'm at 2x squared plus 14x plus 12 equals 252. Next step for me is to see if I can factor anything out and cancel. Because these numbers all these numbers are all even. So I can factor a 2 out of both sides and then I'll be able to cancel that 2. So out of the front, there it is. And out of the back, 2 times 126 is 252. 
and beautiful the twos cancel so I have an easier problem to solve right now which is x squared plus 7x plus 6 equals 126 and I need more room okay to solve for x we need to make this side where the 126 is that needs to be 0 so let's subtract 126 from both sides x squared plus 7x minus 120 equals 0. Positive 6 minus 126 is a negative 120. Now we're going to factor. You set it up and it looks like this. And if you need to review factoring, I'll put a link up in the corner. I'm not going to go over how to factor. I did all, you know, I can just factor this. And so I know that since this is a negative 120 in order the last two numbers here the first two numbers are going to be x and because x times x is x squared the last two numbers have to be a positive and a negative because this is a negative so when you multiply whatever those two numbers are together you'd end up with a negative answer now i've got to come up with the right combination of two numbers that multiply to be a negative 120 but when you combine them are a positive 7. I did the little bit of trial and error and figured it out. It's 15 and 8. Again, if you don't know how to do that, I got a video for you that I'll explain it in more detail. I don't want to do I don't want to reteach it in this video to make it too long. So once you have something factored, once you have a trinomial factored and it equals 0, to solve, it means one of these two groupings had to be 0. That means x plus 15 equals 0 or x minus 8 equals 0. Solving both. For the first one, I subtract 15 from both sides. I get x equals negative 15. And for the second one, I have to add 8 to both sides, and I get x equals 8. Now look at your problem. Negative 15 is a flag. In algebra, this is fine, and you'd be done. There's two answers. But in geometry, you got to think about, does this make sense? If I put the negative 15 here, negative 15 plus 6, that's going to give me a negative answer. I think, what is that, negative 9? So you can't have a negative segment length. So that's that one's not going to work. We can go ahead and cross that one off. And at the positive answer is going to work because we're going to get positive results either way. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.